Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. There is an update of uh, very minute proportions, but there was still an update, so very good stuff. Um, Alright, for some reason when I started that, my, uh, my screen moved that I had all the update stuff listed on. <laughs> so it went underneath everything, I couldn't see it anymore. Um, either way, there was an update of my new proportions. This is from Toplitz, this is official. It looks like they changed the... Uh, the graphic or something on the milk can. I'm not sure if it's better quality milk or whatever, but it's gold instead of silver. Now it was just silver. It may be silver in the tab still. We'll look in just a second. Uh, vehicles. They added new vehicles. They added the vehicle Linder 94. A bit smaller and a bit cheaper. And I did check it out. It is a bit cheaper. Not very much, but it is a bit cheaper. We'll look at all of this here in just a minute. But first, we're going to read over everything and then we'll go check everything out. While I'm getting milk and eggs, we will do this. We'll read over it and then we will go look at stuff. Uh, new vehicle, square baler. It's a modern square baler. Finally, I was wondering when they were going to add it, and it is okay looking. The the it could, the model could have been a little bit better, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just glad they've added a modern square baler, to be quite honest. Um, the crampy big body 500 grain trailer. It still holds 11,000 liters, but it looks pretty good. It's a pretty good model. It is a, a, a cramp or a crampy. I don't know how you pronounce it. I've never been good with that one. Uh, even all the farmer, farming simulator stuff I've played, I'm not good with it. Turn my sensitivity down a bit. I feel like I'm throwing my camera all over the place. I had a complaint about that from none other than, not really a complaint, but a suggestion. Pace doesn't really complain to me. He just tell you, he goes, hey man, you need to stop doing this. And I didn't, I don't realize I'm doing it a lot of times. Slinging my camera around like this makes people sick. <laughs> and it definitely, definitely does. Um, I try to turn my sensitivity down when playing this game because it's a bit different, but... Uh, either way, yeah, the Crampy Big Body 500 trailer. Very nice. It looks like the eggs are turning gold as well. Hmm, it's kind of weird. Uh, let me go look and see if there's another trimmer. I've got one on me, but I don't see if there's another string trimmer over here. Let's see if we can sell it to... Uh, music. New music for the menu and wedding ceremonies. New music jingle for quest completion. New music jingle for achievement unlocked. New music jingles for walking... Uh, for waking up. So I have my music turned off. I will turn that up right now because I want to hear since we have a music volume now go down as far as we can go there we go that's not too bad I mean it's pretty loud but it's not too bad yep there we go so menu music sounds better sounds really good thanks guys for that update as well thanks for the the vehicle updates too I was wondering when we were gonna get modern balers and some different tractors and stuff so it's still a lender but it's a bit smaller it gives you a different option if you want to save you some money and we'll look at it in a few minutes uh, quest new NPC quest class cultivation orders so now we can cultivate I'd much rather cultivate than I would plow good to so, see you can I help you yes you can help me I want to trade with you I want to give you items sure I don't need anything. You need milk. What you need? 17 of those. You need a trimmer. There you go. And you need 21 eggs. I can tell, I can tell by looking at you. That is exactly what you need. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you needed those. I did go buy a bunch of uh, uh, canola and fertilizing stuff uh, off camera. Uh, so they added the new cultivation, I mean, yeah, the new cultivation orders, which is very nice. Gives you something different to do. So now you've got transports, you've got plowing, you've got building repair, but now you have cultivation as well. So you've got something else added, which is super nice. Uh, added mushrooms, wildlife, wildlife added. It was mushrooms, four different, and wild strawberries to pick up. Here's the mushrooms. I wanted to go ahead and get that one because we're running right here next to it. I just want to see what they look like. Wild mushrooms, plus one. Or mushroom plus one. There was another one here somewhere. Right there he is. That's a bit different looking. It's probably going to show up in the same... Yeah, it shows up in the same thing. It just looks a tad bit different. Uh, so I did some... Uh, as you can tell, I did some cleaning up around the farm with the, the string trimmer. I got tired of looking at it. It was uh, it was all overgrown and, and kind of bugging me. So I wanted to kind of get that out of the way and uh, clean up. And I did all the way around the farm, as you can tell here. Got everything cleaned up. Looks a lot better. We don't have grass growing everywhere. I even got around by the playground and around the greenhouse and everything. So I haven't seen any more um, any more different types of mushrooms. Looks like just the, the big white cap mushrooms at the moment. Uh, but that's okay too. At least, at least it's in here now. I've been wondering when they were going to add mushrooms. Let's see if they do some sort of nutrition. They do plus 10. Fresh food, taste, but little nutrition. So 10 nutrition is not bad. This is the same thing the eggs give us. And I feel like... Uh, 
I mean, for me, I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are a power food. They get, you get a lot of stuff from them. So, uh, I really like them. But they also added the note here um, for mushrooms and strawberries. Mushrooms and strawberries grow in forest areas where animals tend to be. Mushrooms and strawberries can be eaten or sold. Mushrooms tend to be tend to hide in, in, in the grass. Not always, but they do. Walk slowly and look carefully as in real life. Mushrooms and strawberries can be uh, a bit... Can be a bit better visible using ES. Not much though. So using your engineer site, they'll you'll tend to see them a little bit better, but not very much. So it does give you a bit of an advantage. Uh, let's try looking around for one real quick. Uh, in wooded area, this is not a wooded area. We're probably not going to find one here. Probably back over where those animals were just a minute ago. Let's walk up here and see if we can find one. This is a bit of a wooded area here, uh, but not too much. Not to not to make things easy. So they don't want to make things too easy on you, but they do want to make it where it's possible to find strawberries and mushrooms. Also want to see how much they're worth. If they're worth a ton, it might be worth just walking around foraging for a little while in game. If that's if if you have some free time or whatever, if you're waiting on crops to grow or greenhouse or whatever else. So it might be something to do. So, so far we're not having any luck, but uh, we're not really in a wooded area. So it says where t animals tend to be. There are a bunch of animals back over here by the farm. Let's run over here and check it out. See if there's any there. While we're hit, aha! Okay, see, I was holding it down, so I didn't even realize that green blob right there is strawberries. So yeah, these would be very hard to find uh, without this. It still makes it. Uh, it's, it's still not easy, but it is less hard to find them now because uh, it doesn't just show up from a mile away, and you only get one strawberry. So I'm really curious as to. They do eight nutrition. They don't do a whole lot at all, but the big thing is what do they sell for? Are they like 40 cents each or something? Because that'd be okay. It'd be a pretty decent price. Um, what was the ending of this note? Mushrooms and strawberries grow back after 24 days, but in slightly different places. So they're not always going to grow in the same place either, which makes it really, really interesting. So you can't go to one place and just farm mushrooms every 24 days. So you got to be careful of how much you're picking and know when you can sell and that kind of thing. Um, because they're not always going to grow back. They're not, they don't grow back regularly. That's for sure. Regularly. Can't talk today. I feel like I've talked a lot, uh, in the last little bit, just trying to get all this stuff together. So, uh, also, if you guys didn't know, I do have a, uh, uh, Farming Simulator 17 multiplayer server up with Wassel, with the Wassel 17 map. Uh, if you guys are part of the community and you're part of the Discord, you want to play some Farm Sim multiplayer, let me know. Also, Echo, or Eco, the new game that is out. Uh, if you guys are playing that at all, do have a multiplayer server up for it too. It is all passworded. And if you're not part of the community and you just joined just to play that, uh, you may not be able to. Uh, I would kind of want to, uh, kind of want people that hang around a little bit and um, that we know aren't just going to come in and destroy everything. No offense to the ones that don't, but there are people out there that do that. Uh, I kind of want those people playing first, so come in, community, hang out, and chill out with us and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get you on the server at some point. What else do we have here? Additional. All right, here's some additional. This looks like uh, uh, fixes for stuff in the game here. The additions. Uh, objects picked up to inventory that have panel message, eggs, fish, milk, mushrooms, strawberries, etc., have their own icon included in the panel message as well. Okay, so that's what it was. There was no panel message in the milk before. Now there is. And eggs as well, strawberries. So they all have their own little panel message now. So that's nice. Uh, strawberries have their icon included in panel message as well. Yes. Okay. Um, player's overall condition to eat sleep has to be at 50% or more for the NPC quest dialogue option. So you have to have here, you have to have 50% sleep and 50% food at least qualify to be able to do uh, odd jobs or side jobs or quest dialogues whichever um, but even conditions way less markers will still be present on the map and above NPC head up here but even if conditions was less oh uh, same line with lack of actual dialogue option this was confusing so if overall condition is less than 50 NPC quest markers now do not show and as you can see here well that's the bus stop let's go here uh, well, no, that one still shows. That's not what I wanted to do at all, now is it? No, it's not. I wanted to, uh, let me get out of here. There we go. I wanted to go to the bus stop. 
Uh, if player overall condition is low, is smaller than 30%, he has dialogue option to ask for food instead of assigning uh, asking for work. Uh, that's cool. So if your overall condition is less than 30%, you can ask the people for food now. That's kind of neat if you don't have any food on you. All right, we're going to start down here at this one. This bus stop here closest to this shop. Where is it? There it is. So this is the shop that nothing new is happening at. This is still the same stuff we've had. We got the mower, we got the lender tractor. Now this is the lender uh, GeoTrack 134EP, uh, and all this stuff is still the same. Um, I was thinking this was the other one, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, this is the one that everything. Nothing's changed here. There's nothing new there. We're gonna go over to the other one real quick as we read some more of these. Adjusted rotation veil of old plow wheel. I don't know what that means. Somebody that's better at farming than me, let me know. Because I have no idea. Uh, adjusted parameters of plowing affecting turning the tractor. Smaller tractors were difficult to drive. They were, but I think it's pretty realistic. With a plow on the ground, you're not going to be able to turn the tractor on a 90 degree angle. Alright, so this is the crampy uh, Big Body 500. As you can see here, it costs 16,000 euros. Or 8,000 euros and 16,000 social points. Um, it has... A 11,000 kilogram capacity. So I think it's just like these. 11,000 kilogram capacity it does. But these have the weird turning steering on the front. This one does not. I like these trailers so much more. Because you can back them in places so much easier. These are a bit hard to back. And this one costs $2,000 more as well. So this one's going to take the bigger tractor to pull. I would very much bet on it because the weight of it is actually resting on the tractor itself and not on another set of wheels. Technically, you could pull this with a pickup truck because it's got its own set of wheels and all you're doing is pulling the weight. So keep that in mind too. Uh, the baler. This is the new square baler. Uh, just says square baler modern. There is no, uh, there's no name for it. Square baler. It is 32,000 euros and I feel like... Um, don't know how much worth it it's going to be. It looks like it's the same working width, which is fine. It does pull directly behind the tractor instead of off to the side, so it will be available to put different places. And I don't think you're going to be able to pull this with the uh, with the old tractor either. So definitely might want to keep that in mind before purchasing it. Uh, this is the that's the Geo Track as well. So uh, maybe you get more bales out of it. Maybe it processes hay a little bit better. Not real sure, but we will find out. I promise. The next purchase we're going to buy is the, the Lender GeoTrack. Um, oh, you know what? We might buy the other tractor. We might buy the smaller one. We're about to go look at it. We might buy that smaller tractor first. Not positive yet. Uh, adjusted friction on the front wheels while plowing tractors should be easier to drive and control uh, during field work. Fixed mysterious shadow reappearing while plowing. So the shadow that kept bumping back and forth while you were plowing, they fixed that apparently or supposedly. Uh, we'll see how well it takes. This is the new Lender tractor right here. It does look like it is leaning back slightly. It doesn't look very level. Hmm. I don't know if that was planned or if uh, some of the parameters in the file itself is kind of off. But this is the Lender 94 EP. It is 76,000 euros. So it has a smaller fuel tank, cost less, and the horsepower is less on it as well. So uh, for 14,000 less euros, you can get this tractor. It's not a big, uh, it's not a big difference in money, but I feel like it's going to help a little bit anyway. I would think so. Uh, 14,000 euros is kind of hard to come up with. So, uh, definitely, definitely want to keep that in mind. Go back to here. Uh, some optimizations to shadow render. Where's the house? Right there. Uh, fixed a weird bug of player hen multiplying after game load in the same spot. Fixed weird AI bug of sometimes cloning some NPCs after load. So that was that's kind of weird, I guess. Uh, adjusted over bright fogs in the morning. That was killing me. So I'm glad they did that. Uh, and there's one or two more, but they're just little bug fixes and stuff. You can go read on the Steam uh, page if you click on the... Um, discussion board or whatever else. Oh, listen to that. Well, that's nice to wake up to every morning. It's not too bad at all there. 
not really bad at, at all. I mean, that's great, actually. So my thoughts are on the new stuff. Uh, I want to get your thoughts as well in the comments below. You guys let me know. Uh, before we go any further, I do want to say that in the description below, you will find my Discord. If you're not part of the community, you're more than welcome to join. Click on it. Come over. There's some uh, nice, friendly people there. Uh, there's usually people there to play with um, in most of the games that I'm playing here. Uh, if you want to chat about some Farmer's Dynasty, there's a room for that as well. No, it's not multiplayer, but you can hang out and talk about what you think about the game and that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also many different channels for many different games. You can come check it out. And if there's not a channel in there for a game that you want to play, jump in, be part of the conversation, and let me know uh, what channel you want to add. I'll add a channel in there. It takes two seconds to do. You guys just let me know if there's something there that's not there that you feel like a lot of people would be playing. And I will add that room, no problem. Also in the description below, you will find my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Um, the Discord link is there. My Patreon is there. Patreon is there for you guys. Uh, if you feel like donating and supporting the channel, it is there. Um, if you do, if you do join the Patreon, you become a patron, uh, for a dollar, you get a private voice channel in the Discord. And I'll also be uploading some pictures and stuff of behind the scenes stuff that I do on shows, uh, things of that nature. So if you want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to. The $5 Discord gets you, or the $5 patron gets you a, uh, option of three private rooms and a private text channel that only me and the admins and the uh, $5 patrons can see. So uh, if you want to support, you can go there and do so. I don't look for YouTube for any support. So if you guys feel like supporting the channel, you're more than welcome to. Never needed, always appreciated. Now, back to this. What I was going to do after I got done reading all this, I'm going to go do now because I didn't think I was going to read that much of it, but I did. I wasn't going to do all the little additional fixes, but I feel like for some of some people, the additional stuff is a big deal. So... Um, let's fill the cedar with canola. There we go. We're going to go plow a field. First, I want to check and see if this, uh, always turns me backwards. Is the trimmer back in there? It's not. Okay, so we're going to hang on to our milk. We take a peek at the outhouse. I mean, the greenhouse at the outhouse. Take a peek at the greenhouse real quick. It is nowhere near close to done. We have milked all our cows and watered our, I mean, uh, collected eggs from our chickens. So we are done with all that. We need to go fill, uh, seed this field, the big field up here. It'll take me a while to do. I'll probably do some of it off camera. Probably do most of it off camera, actually. Or if you guys don't mind a bit of a time lapse, I may do a time lapse with it as well. I haven't done a time lapse in this series in quite some time, so that may be a thing. Also, all you all you folks out there that like this game, um, please ignore anything speculation wise now I speculated a little bit in the beginning and I will say now that um, too much speculation becomes tenfold hat speculation and conspiracies so uh, I feel like the <laughs> I feel like the discussion on Steam has gotten to the conspiracy theory level therefore uh, if you have the game and you enjoy playing it just play the game if you don't think you're gonna want the game because you don't like it after watching some videos on it that's fine too right you don't have to like everything Nobody has to like everything. I personally don't like some of the other farming games out there. I don't play them. I might own them, and I might have tried them. I didn't like them. I like this game. To me, it's different. It looks different. It feels different. Even though it may look the exact same as something else, it still feels different to me. So, worst come to worst, just ignore all the people talking about it. And if you like the game, play it. If you're waiting on it to come out, continue to wait on it to come out. That's my opinion. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I was looking at Steam earlier going, man, these people are losing their minds. We are almost out of fuel. We're going to hitch that and go get fuel from the shop real quick. But yeah, I was looking at that earlier and I was reading some of the discussion board and I was going, okay, this is getting out of hand. You know, it's like, this is really getting crazy. Um, I feel like the speculations have gotten way too far out there. They have clarified uh, several folks of who it is not. And I feel like there's still people on there trying to say that it is, and, and they've already come out and said, no, it's not, you know, this these people. So, you know, just just calm down a little bit. You know, calm down. They're, they're still putting out content for it. They're still putting out patch updates. Uh, we're getting new content. So we got new stuff. You know what I mean? Like, why why still push the, the issue that they're, you know, they're trying to abandon the game or they're copying the game and trying to get away with it? Excuse me. Or any of that kind of stuff. Just let it go. If you haven't played it, 
If you don't have it and you want it, wait on it because it will come. It will come out at some point. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. And I have to stop putting out videos on it too. You know what I mean? It's like it's not that. It's not that big a deal. It's not. Nobody's life is going to end over a video game, or it shouldn't anyway. It should never come to that point. Yeah, just the idea of it getting kind of crazy and out of hand has really made me step back and look at uh, the issues with gaming stuff. It's like everybody goes nuts, you know? And it's, it's a game, they're going through some legal stuff, they're not going to tell us who it is because their loggers have probably, or their legal advisors have probably advised them not to. We're not going to find out who it is. And to be quite honest, if they told us who it was before everything was settled, I would kind of, I would kind of think they were stupid for doing so. So, you know, if you're pushing to find out who it is, stop. They're not going to tell you. This is not planted with anything. So, I didn't plow that big field up there, did I? No, I think it was just this one. Cool, let's do this. Get this canola in the ground so that we can, uh, we can get some more money out of these after they grow. And I'm probably going to, after this one, I'm probably going to, after this field anyway, is, is planted. I'm probably going to do some big time jumps and kind of get through so we can get to the, like, the summer. Because we're in spring right now. Just so we can get to the summer and we can get some more money coming in. And we get to use our big harvester again. That's the main thing. I want to use that big dude again. Um, but for now, I'm going to keep the grain trailer we have. I'm going to go ahead and buy the other grain trailer when I have enough money to do so. After I buy the tractor and the baler. I want that big baler. I think it's nice. Uh, or it's a lot nicer than an old one. So, uh, either way. But yeah, I'm going to work on this for a little bit, and I'll bring you back when I am done with it. All right, we're done seeding the field, and it is 99.19% finished. We did take three trips with the fertilizer, I mean with the seeder, to, uh, to get there. We have 57% left for a third trip, so it took two and a half seeders full of canola. Uh, to get that seed, to get that field uh, seeded, but it is a 1.87 um, hectare field, so it's fairly large. It is planted, cultivated, fertilized, all the stuff you can do to it, uh, with the exception of manure, because well, I didn't have the manure available to do any of it at the time, and I'm pretty sure there's probably around 700 kilograms over there now, uh, which is not really worth. Uh, let's see if I can get turned around here. Uh, it's not really worth uh, doing just 700 on it, so probably not going to do any manure on that field at all. There we go. Let's detach that and go into first person. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's probably not worth doing. We'll go take a look just to see, but... Oh, our fertilizer's not even over here. Uh, no, there's 1,400 kilograms. That's not even going to touch that field. That's a large, very large field. Uh, but I did think to myself, well, we can go ahead and read out uh, the rest of the additional patch notes because some of these are okay some of these are pretty good um let's see where did we get to adjusted over bright fog in the morning i think that was the last one we read uh, adjusted over bright sun reflection parameters in the morning so the one thing they didn't fix that i really wish they would was the uh the glare on the field like dirt does not have a glare for the most part um it's dirt even seeded or fertilized or anything else uh, if it's wet, it will have a glare, but these fields have a glare all the time, which is kind of annoying. Uh, that's one thing I wish they would throw in there. Um, we'll leave the tractor sitting right there. Uh, I do plan on sleeping for a week, or two, or three, or four, just depends. Um, I know it takes 60 days for all this to grow, from what I understand, so definitely going to sleep for a while. I'll probably have to do some more of this cleanup around the farm here, because, well, it all looks good right now, but it won't. Uh, more naturally intense... Uh, intensity and colors of sky haze so as you can see there there's some some haze going on in the background and the intensity of the sky does look a bit better looks a bit different all the little weird shadows that used to pop up and stuff don't seem to do it as much it's still kind of there but they're working on it uh, at atmospheric scattering parameters and colors fit sky haze more horizon much better aligning with sky now so apparently apparently the horizon uh, horizon that you can see fits much better as you look across there you see the the hilltop in the in the background there and the haze and everything that looks really good i think i think it looks a lot better uh numerous world fixes flying trees dense areas stuff like that 
Uh, improved foliage density, especially in forest areas. Very nice. Fix wrong text at the end of Claire's plowing and cultivate, cultivating quest only for new games, though. So when you buy the new game, uh, when the, when you buy the game new, when it uh, goes back to release and you're able and you're able to buy the game, um, there is new text for that. I do. I did just realize we had strawberries and mushrooms. I wanted to sell and see how much we get for them. Uh, fix wrong colors and dirty parameter propagation for a few trailer parts. Okay, so I'm guessing there was a few trailer parts that were something in the uh, parameters were wrong for it. I guess I don't know. Fix rotations and trailer pistons. Um, whatever that means. But that's the last one. Uh, your top blitz and UMO team. UMEO team. Uh, so big thanks to them. Good uh, to it's see nice you. that they're Can adding, still adding content. Uh, even with all this craziness going on. Uh, the fixes are very Can nice too. Train. Sure. Alright, let's see what these are going to... Well, first let's sell our milk. We know how much we get for it. So it is 4 euros per one. So we have 22 of them, so we're going to sell all 22. We're going to sell 18. Actually, let's go and sell all the eggs. We don't need them anymore today. We're about to go to sleep. Uh, we'll have eggs when we get out. These are a dollar. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, they're 60, 60 euros each. Or 0. 0.60 euros each. So 0. 0.60 cents each. Uh, for those, we get a dollar eighty for three mushrooms. It's not bad for scavenging, though. And the strawberries are 70 cents each. So that's not bad at all, really. For I mean, that's just foraging. You're just running around grabbing stuff. So not too bad. Make a little chunk of change as you're running around the world. Look for mushrooms and strawberries. You may see some, you may not. Uh, I do want to go back up here on the hilltop where these animals are, though, and check and see if there's any there. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if there's any in this area here. We're going to use our engineer site just to see. I don't see any right here. Um, and I don't remember if we checked this area here. So we're going to have to go find us a nice wooded area and see if the population of mushroom mushrooms and strawberries is greater than it is uh, in places like this because for now I don't really see any and like they said it just it is still hard to see but it makes it a bit easier uh, but I don't see any I don't see anything there's a mushroom in this big open grassy area here yeah the green tint definitely adds um, so for the mushrooms it doesn't make it easier it makes it harder because the mushrooms are white they will stick out a bit uh, but for the strawberries, I guess it would make it a bit easier if it catches your eye the right way. Yep, right there. So if you're if you're looking for some money and a few bucks here and there, you can run around and grab some of these mushrooms. They're not all white though, are they? Some of them are brown, so they are kind of hard to see in the grass. But if you're if you're looking for stuff, you can run around and grab those uh, to make you a few extra bucks. I think that the addition of that is fairly nice as well. I do want to go check and see if our chests have anything in them. I do check these pretty much every day, at least one of them anyway. Check them pretty much every day just to see. It would be nice to know if stuff comes back or if it doesn't. So uh, the chest may be a one-time use or it may not be. I'm not real sure. And I think I'm going to have to go around the other way to get to this. I am. Okay. Close that back. Not with me inside of it. Thank you, Thank you very much. There we go. Close it back. Go in here and see about uh, this chest. Nothing. Okay. So nothing doing there. There is no new stuff for the chest uh, yet. Now, I am going to go to sleep. And I am going to sleep for a week. And we will get up and see how our greenhouse is doing. We will go milk the cows, stuff like that. Rest for a week. Taking a long nap. Taking a long rest. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but I am going to sleep and try to skip some time to get some crops going again. Uh, it is Tuesday, April 15th. It is supposed to rain and thunder and lightning today. I wonder if there's actually... That, that morning time music is really nice, man. That's really nice. It's very soothing. Uh, I do wonder if there is, uh, like, dynamic storms, if that's going to be added to the game. Like, if you see thunder and lightning, all that kind of stuff. That'd be kind of neat if it was, I think. I think that's a, a pretty decent addition they could make weather-wise. I think that'd be cool. Uh, also... Um, before we before we get too much further here, I do want to say that uh, I appreciate everybody in the community and everybody that watches these videos. I don't think I tell you guys that enough. I really don't, but I do appreciate everybody that watches these. Everybody gives a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Everybody that subscribes and has subscribed lately, uh, thank you so much as well. Now, if you'll do me a favor and just share this video, just share it on whatever social media you got, that would be very helpful. It would help the community. It would help me a lot. Um, also... Uh, starting February 20th, 
YouTube will enforce their changes, so I will no longer have a partnered YouTube channel, which means the, the 30 cents I'm going to make off of this video for a thousand views or whatever it is that I make, uh, I will no longer be making. So uh, you will hear me push my Patreon a little more, uh, simply for the fact that it's there. I put a lot of work into my channel, I put a lot of work into my videos, I spend a lot of time recording and editing, and uh, I, I treat it as if it's a job. It is not a job for me. I have a full-time job, but I work five months out of the year for a sound production company. So I have a lot of time off during the winter, which is why there are a lot more videos during the wintertime. Uh, and a lot of them. Uh, during the summertime and springtime, there are going to be slightly less videos and slightly less games probably going on as well. I'm not going to have time to play uh, just a massive amount of games uh, during the summertime. Uh, I will still have videos of stuff that I really enjoy playing. Farmer's Dynasty is one of them that's going to stay... Uh, for sure and the farming simulator will probably stay as well i'll probably have a stardew valley series and then maybe some odd end videos too of games that we really enjoy playing stuff that we really like um i know pure farming 18 is going to be out uh in march and i will definitely be playing that i'll be checking it out if nothing else but we'll be doing uh we'll be doing some uh looking around videos on it too uh, and then any of the new games that start to come out ultimate fishing simulator is one that i've kind of looked into uh, I am really enjoying Bear at Sea. I've been playing some of it off camera. So look forward to the next video of that one. Uh, also, Eco, look forward to the next video of that one too. I've got, um, I'm going to do status update videos of it. So um, I will, in the next video, I'll be showing you what, we, what we're doing and what it takes to make stuff happen and explaining a few more things about the game. So definitely keep an eye out for that one. It should be out later this week. Um, the next Barrett C video will probably be out next Sunday. I'm going to have to rewrite my schedule completely. So other than Farming Dynasty and Farming Simulator games, throw the schedule out the window. Um, Farming Dynasty and Farming Simulator will be here. Uh, but the rest of them just kind of throw out the window because I don't know. We'll still be trying to stream Gold Rush on Wednesdays. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, on Tuesday, I will probably be streaming some more Farmers Dynasty. And later this day, later today, if you're watching this video right after release, if you're watching this video right after release, probably going to stream something different. I'm not real sure what it is yet, but I'm going to be streaming something here on the YouTube channel. So uh, if you're not subscribed, you do want to check out the live streams, hit the subscribe button below, hit the little notification bell so you get notified when I go live or when I upload a video. That would help me out a lot. Good to uh, see you. Can I help? The views definitely help me out a lot, but the watch time is, you know, you guys enjoy the video and like the sure. video and watch what a lot of it has really helped me out over the last couple months. Um, you don't you don't even know how much you've helped me out just by hanging out and enjoying my videos and watching them. So, uh, big thanks to everybody that hangs out and watches and just enjoys the video. Again, I do put a lot of work into these. Uh, I'm not doing this for a quick dollar. I enjoy it, uh, but the 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 minimal income I do get from it uh, justifies me doing it. Honestly, I do have a family, I have a, a job, I have bills, I have all the stuff that everybody else has. So I take my extra time for my days and do this. And uh, uh, I enjoy when you guys comment and let me know that you're liking something or if you're not liking something and, and jumping in the Discord and all that kind of stuff. So don't forget, I mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it again. Check out the Discord in the in the description below as well as all the other links there. Oh, they, there's some more places that water is draining and stuff now, pooling up. Uh, this didn't do this before. This is kind of a kind of it's draining downhill right there. The water looks so much better now. And this is really, really good. Holy moly, okay. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job with some of the overhauls for the graphics. Oh, look at that. After a week, we have crops growing. Barley. And canola. They're getting there. Let's go check out the greenhouse. The greenhouse is ready? Oh, no, okay. That's just sprouts starting to sprout up on them. I think, yeah, that's seedlings. Seedlings, it's not ready yet. No, it's not ready yet. Okay. Uh, did we plant pumpkins at all, or did we plant all zucchini? I think we planted all zucchini. Uh, we've got plenty of zucchini seedlings for a long while now. Uh, but yeah, look at the water pooling up down here. This is really, really nice. Uh, I feel like some of the textures and stuff have gotten a lot better in this update, too. Uh, not all of them, but some of them. Hmm, very nice. But either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. This may turn out to be pretty short. I did spend a lot of time... Um, uh, seeding that field and I didn't uh, ended up not doing a time-lapse of it just because uh, I feel like time-lapse stuff uh, is kind of iffy because you you know you don't always play music people want to hear it and you're just sitting there watching the watching the tractor go around without any commentary and explaining anything to you and you just you know so I, I decided against the time-lapse 
Uh, but before we take off, I want to make sure I point out that uh, there are two pretty good friends of mine that stream over on Twitch. Um, Spec Ops on Twitch. I will leave a link in the description below for him. Look for him to play some squad and some PUBG and, and probably some crazy Rocket League with Rhett. I never did finish seeding this. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay, then. Well, I guess we will, uh, <laughs> we'll harvest the head headland around this thing anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to go do it now because then it'll be uneven, so uh, I'll just wait and do it in the next one. I thought I had the whole thing seeded. No, that's why I needed to go buy the fertilizer. That's right, because I needed to finish fertilizing that one. Uh, either way, whoops. Uh, but yeah, go check Spec Ops out. Also, uh, Buckham on Twitch as well. There'll be a link in the description below for his channel. Uh, we all do tend to play together a lot at night. So, uh, if you ever do jump over there, you may hear me in the background yelling and, and hollering about something in, in PUBG or whatever. So, uh, uh, we do play some PUBG and some Rocket League together. Uh, very good, very good uh, streamers on Twitch. Go check them out. Give them a follow. Uh, Buckham hit Twitch affiliate not too long ago, so, you know, big big props to him for sticking with it and getting the Twitch affiliate uh, in. Uh, Spec is probably not far behind him doing a lot of streaming lately too, making really good content as well. So uh, I think the quality of the content far outweighs um, how many people are watching. Uh, I feel like a lot of people watch just to watch you fail and troll you or whatever else on Twitch, but uh, there's a lot of good people out there in the communities that really enjoy just hanging out, you know, really enjoy good communities and stuff. So um, go check them out. There will be links in the description below the uh, game description there. So make sure you go watch them. Uh, at least go give them a chance. You don't have to follow. You don't have to. You don't have to watch them every night or whatever. Just go give them a chance. Go give their channel a look. If you like it, then there you go. If you don't, well, I tried. You know, uh, not everybody that watches my videos likes my videos. So I appreciate people that do come by and at least give it a look and give it a shot and uh, see if they like it or not. Uh, it means a lot more than people just scanning over and going. Nah, I probably won't like that one. You know, so it means a lot more than people realize. Just just hitting the which the views in in YouTube don't really matter anymore. So it doesn't matter if my videos have fifteen thousand views. Um, really doesn't. If, if everybody that watched it watched one minute of it, uh, or not even one minute of it, ten seconds of it, and decided they didn't like it and, and quit with the exit of the video, then it, it wouldn't help me out at all. So, um, what happened? Where did I go to? I didn't mean to go to this bus stop. No, this is not where I meant to go. Uh, but yeah, either way, uh, just, you know, click over there, give them a chance, and check it out. If you like it, then, then good deal. I'm glad I found you somebody else to watch. If not, then, well... You know, sorry, I tried. Uh, but either way, I will see you all in the next... i got to quit clicking on that. So they need to fix this before I go real quick. They need to fix the fact that if you are just moving your, uh, your screen around to get to the next bus stop, if you hover over something like that, that it auto makes you... Uh, can you see how you pull down when you come this way? It auto makes you jump to that bus stop or fast travel to whatever is there. So that would be something I'd like to see fixed for sure. But either way, I will see you in the next one. I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed me showing off these new uh, these new items here. I really like them. I'm going to screenshot it. Uh, but either way, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, we've got some new content coming out soon with the next one as well. And uh, I will see you then. Later, everybody.